this is going to be a tutorial about how to install NES ROMs in a different way. First, we're going to install Mobile Finder. So go into your installer. Go to install all packages and scroll down to Mobile Finder. Once you find it, install it, but I already have it, so I'm not going to. Then refresh it, and you should find it on your... Next, we're going to install Drop Copy. This is a networking utility that allows you to send files between other networked devices and... Um, your computer which is what we're going to use so you're going to want to go into utilities in your installer and you're going to scroll down to drop copy I already have it so it's not in there it will be right in there around there so then once you've downloaded it and installed it you should refresh and you'll find it right on your desktop then on your Mac go download drop copy I'll give you the link on the sidebar Once you install Drop Copy and run it, you'll see there's a little portal on your desktop. That's what you're going to use to send data to your iPod. Then, on your iPod, open up Drop Copy. The interface should look something like this. When you send the file to your iPod, you must have Drop Copy open. Then, when you drag the file over top of the, of the portal, a tab will come up. Drop this item on the tab and it'll send it to your iPod. Once the file is downloaded, open up Mobile Finder. By default, uh, all of the data that is collected by Drop Copy goes into a file in media called Drop Copy. Open up Drop Copy and you'll find all the files that you've sent. Select one, go to File, Copy. Go up. You might have to make a folder called ROMs NES. Paste the file here. Then, once you've done this, open up NES and go ahead and play. Mario Brothers is a great game. Landscape mode is great, too. Alright, thank you for watching.